medullary and the weber syndrome so first we are looking at the medial medullary or the dergerine syndrome so this involves the vertebral artery and the anterior spinal artery the clinical features it is nothing but the contralateral loss of the conscious proprioception as a contralateral this thing hemiplegia as well as the il that's ipsilateral tongue paralysis then moving on to the lateral medullary syndrome or the wallenberg syndrome so this involves the vertebral artery greater than the posterior inferior cerebral artery then looking at the clinical features it is uh, the contralateral there is loss of pain and the temperature on the body ipsilaterally there is loss of pain as well as temperature on the face next ataxia nystagmus and vertigo is present then uh, there is uh, harness syndrome and dysphagia there is ipsilateral bulbar paralysis as well as loss of the gag reflex then moving on to the weber syndrome weber syndrome there is a post cerebral artery there is ipsilateral oculomotor nerve palsy ptosis with the fixed dilated pupil pointed down it is pointed down and out then looking at the contralateral there is contralateral hemiplegia and the contralateral paralysis of the lower face